Have you ever found yourself in the predicament where you want to incorporate some new goals or routines into your lifestyle, but you 100% struggle to get around to doing them? Well, you're certainly not alone. I think we are all victims of this scenario playing out, but I want to be able to help you with this video to fix this issue. And in fact, you know what? It's not even fair to say that it's an issue. Just to kind of fix this um, this minor problem and what you can do about it to make sure that you are creating new positive habits and routines for yourself. So what do I mean by, by this, first of all? Well, I'm sure like most people, um, there are things that you 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 want to do you want to make a priority or you want to ingrain into your everyday life for me i like doing my my workouts i don't tend to go to the gym i like to do my my workouts at home and i noticed or realized this week that the last couple of days i kept putting off doing a workout because i wanted to complete other jobs and what that meant was that i was then neglecting me doing an exercise and and as i say i really like doing my my home workouts but by not putting that as a priority by not making sure that that needed to be done on top of the other things that I wanted to do. I found myself always pushing it to the end of the day and then not being in the mood to do a workout or I would just sort of push it for tomorrow or the next day to do and then finding that the exact same thing would play out and I just wouldn't get it done. What can we do about this? Well, first of all, you need to recognize that you are neglecting certain things that you want to achieve. So it doesn't matter if it's for your business, maybe you've got like emails you need to send, maybe you've got phone calls you need to make, maybe you need to schedule something in with clients, uh, or maybe like with me, you know, you are delaying going to the gym or doing a workout, or you keep putting it off. Maybe that's probably the better phrase for it. You keep putting it off. Um, and maybe even again with like dates or maybe even like food wise, you keep delaying going shopping for the right kind of food. And instead you just keep on eating the, uh, the wrong stuff. But point being is, first of all, recognize the things that you want to, to fix or the things that you want to change. And the best thing to do is just write them down, first of all. So one thing that I did was I actually wrote down, like, I need to do a workout. This needs to be a priority. So what are the two things that I could potentially do that? And this, in fact, this can be used for literally any other point or any other thing that you want to be incorporating in your life. So the first thing that you can consider is adding it into your schedule, purposely putting it in the calendar that at this time on this date, this needs to be done. So when your alarm goes off, letting you know, right, you need to do this, then you need to then accept that that time that you allocated, it needs to be done. So if you are uh, wanting to go on a date with someone, then be like, you know what? That Wednesday, I need to make sure that that is going to be a, uh, available for a date and then go booking it in, get that date booked for that night. If you want to be doing a workout, schedule it in. Right. I want to make sure that I'm going Tuesday, Friday and Saturday next week. Right. It's booked in. It means you have to make sure then that you then work your calendar or work all of your other priorities around that particular scheduling. Now, that's option number one. Option number two is that you shift your priorities. And this is actually one that I like doing or what I prefer to do. And it's, it's obviously going to be more of a personal preference thing anyway. But I like then trying to make sure that that priority that gets neglected, I move it to the front of the queue. I make sure that then I am doing that first before I do something else. So tomorrow, doing a workout in the morning is going to be my priority. I'm not going to allow myself to have the excuse of doing other things first and then I will do my workout in the afternoon or evening because I understand with my own judgment, at least at this moment in time, that I am not going to get around to doing a workout in the evening because I am aware that my attitude is 
I'm not going to be bothered. And most men will fall into the trap in these categories with it. So again, I'm sure that you can probably relate to these circumstances. So if you do find yourself struggling with making uh, certain things a priority, then you have to just recognize your behaviors to these particular patterns. And then you need to consider either scheduling in those priorities to make sure that they are part of your routine and you have given yourself time ahead of schedule to actually do them, or you need to make sure that those priorities are put to the front of the queue. Now, both of these are important because, what, in fact, what, what does that do um, to your routine? Well, it forces you out of that initial habit that you've created for yourself. And it gives you the opportunity to now create a new positive routine. So if, let's say, I am forcing myself to do a workout first thing in the morning every day, then eventually that will become the new routine and it will become part of my normal habit as well. And all that does is then it just shifts all of my other priorities later on in the day. And I actually quite like doing more work in the evening than I do in the morning. So if I get then the priorities that I'm neglecting done in the morning, then getting into the routine of all of the normal work that I would do, so whether it be making videos, whether it be talking with clients, sending emails, making phone calls and so on, then I don't actually mind doing them later on in the day. So if you are neglecting things that you want to be incorporating into your lifestyle and you know what, even using dating, for example, if you're neglecting the idea of going out and talking to women or going out networking or even scheduling in dates, then try and shift that into your calendar and make it a priority. Or if you need to start booking stuff in, if you need to schedule stuff in, then do that from first thing in the morning. And then at least you've got it there, it's scheduled in, and you can create these new positive habits and behaviors for yourself simply by recognizing the uh, the patterns that you are um, that you're following. So hopefully this is useful for you. Um, I'd actually love to know what things you've neglected but have wanted to incorporate into your uh, your daily routine, and I want to hear about them in the uh, the comments below. And if you are struggling with this, then I can help you with that uh, with my life coaching. Um, one of the things that I like to um, certainly specialize in is being able to hold people accountable and making sure that they are taking responsibility for their actions. But sadly, you know, as with most things, it can be very difficult to do it on your own. And there's nothing wrong with then seeking help, uh, if not with me, but with someone else to just help you with ingraining that routine or a new positive routine. So at least then you can carry on doing things on your own and maybe even in like an autopilot too. So if you can like the video, subscribe to the channel and stay up to date on more ways that I can help you with your anxiety and certainly building confidence and a more attractive lifestyle for yourself. And again, I'd love to hear your comments in below. So thank you for watching and until my next video, um, have a great day and uh, good luck making these changes.